Yeah, this uh, this machine, no bueno. This pissed me off all through last night. I didn't sleep well. I said, there's got to be a way to make this work. If you haven't seen what I'm talking about, this is a Dell Latitude D505, I think it was. We'll find out soon. The, uh, the hard drive in it over here was failing. It would start making kind of a vibrating noise and then have trouble reading. When I finished up yesterday's video, of course you're seeing this days later because that's how the schedule works. When I finished up with that, I put the old drive back in. That is the old drive right there. And it booted up and it worked fine. Um, toward the end of everything, I was just having so many problems and so many things were going wrong all at the same time. And sometimes all you need to do is just walk away and come back another time. And that's why we're back. I had tried to grow the partition out from 30 gigabytes, which the old drive was, to 60, which is the new drive because the imaging software doesn't know how to do that. So I used a separate program called Gparted, and I used to use this a tiny middle all the time, but I couldn't find my disk. Now I have the originals tucked away, I didn't feel like digging them out, but I have the ISOs on that three and a half inch hard drive that after I disconnected refused to spin up until I hooked it to a good power supply because the power supply just decided to call it quits. And this morning I woke up and I said, I'm going to make this damn thing work. Today is Jay's revenge against the machine. What could cause this not to boot? Faulty CD drive? Not really, because it kind of works. The disc is a bit scratched up in that, and I thought that might be an issue. Guess what? It was a bad disc. Yeah. Uh, because that other three and a half inch drive that contains the ISO file I need is not really accessible at this moment in time, I went and I found the newest version of Gparted, which I put on a CDRW. This is an ancient one that only burns at 4x, so it took 15 to 20 minutes to burn that disc. Um, I was saying about the benefits of old hardware and that, sometimes you just got to wait. And I want to show you how long this actually takes to boot up. I'm going to speed the footage up so it's going to be a whole thing. Let me get the camera in position here. We'll get everything set and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you that. And then we'll finally grow out this partition to the full 60 jiggle bytes and the repair will be 100% complete. Incidentally, like I said, I put this old drive back in and it worked. Uh, ran the machine for about two hours and then the vibrating noise came back and it started having trouble reading to the point where the machine was unusable. I'm sure that if I put this drive back in, it'll work and it'll boot up just fine. So it's probably heat related. But we have a new CD-RW disc and an old machine that doesn't like that. So let me get the camera set up and we'll actually boot this. We'll power on. We'll get in the boot menu. There he goes. Now we'll put in the disc. I have already tested this, so I know it will boot. Now we're ready to go ahead and boot this. I'm going to let the drive just make sure it reads the disc, and we'll go from there.
Wow! <laughs> that took a long time. Now, um, remembering how to use this is the next part. Partition, resize. Free space proceeding zero. Maximum size 57232. 57232. Free space following zero. And that's it. And now it says that it will grow it. But it doesn't do it until you tell it to do it. I think the check mark apply all operations. Yeah. Are you sure editing has the potential to cause loss of data? Apply. Okay, that's it. It's done. It's done. All that for that? Close. It has to reread it. I don't know how long that's going to take. Probably forever. It's theoretically done at this point. I just want to play it safe here. It's still showing grayed out and it's searching. We'll wait and come back. Sex Sess! Unused 44 gigabytes, so definitely right on. We'll close that. Exit. It's got a, it's got a slowed for time. It it does stuff. It does some pretty cool stuff when it shuts down. If it shuts down, when it shuts down. It's supposed to shut down. So I don't know if it just... This drive doesn't like the fact that it's an RW disk. Maybe it doesn't like the fact that this disk is old and decrepit. Maybe it doesn't like the fact that the disk was burned at 4X, even though this is probably not a very fast drive to begin with. So it's more aligned with the speed of the drive. I don't know. But it's really slow booting up. This also is a newer version, much newer version than the one I was using back at Tiny Middle um, back in the day. So eventually they'll do something. Oh, look at that. We're going to reboot. We'll hit OK. Sort of like Windows, where you have to press Start to shut down. That kind of idea. Alright, it exited the GUI. That's a sign that it changed video modes, at least. So that's good. More weird Linux errors and crazy shit going on. Please remove the medium and press Enter to continue. And it shit out the disk. We'll press enter, and it reboots. Now, will it actually boot to Windows off the new 60 gigabyte partition grown out from 30? Or was this all for naught? Sex Sess! Nice! Love that kind. We'll check it when we get into Windows, just to do it. We'll, uh... Pull that out. Oh, 
Look at that. It's got a run check disk. That's okay. We'll let it because we just did something that you're not supposed to do. <laughs> so as far as Windows is concerned, whoa, this disk is not the way I left the journal because this is an NTFS file system. It's a journaled file system. So it's like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Free space is totally different. Everything else is going on wrong. Whoa, we got to check this guy out here. So it's running through and we'll eventually get there. I don't know how long stage three is going to take. We'll see what that says when we get to it right about now. That's helpful. There we go. 100%. Verifying USN journal. There we go. Zero bytes in bad sectors. Rebooting. Good sign. Completing post. And booting a freshly checked file system. Now Windows will be happy and won't need to run check disk again. And it will boot up as if nothing ever happened. That is a very happy sound. <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> we gotta wait for it to launch my computer. Proper ties. Found new hardware. Don't worry about that. There you go. 55 gigabyte, you know, it rounds and things, and it's it's there. It's done it. System settings change. I have to reboot. Well, that's okay. I will, because there's one other thing that I was dumb about. After I was done, I copied all of the data that was on this old drive to the external drive yesterday. And then when I was done, I copied it back theoretically not needing it but then this drive failed and I already deleted it off the external again it's data I don't need but I'd like to save if at all possible so let me get the stupid adapter that ended up fucking up the power supply that was not anybody's fault it was probably kind of on its last legs China sitting there for too many years and shit and I might have just found a replacement power supply in fact, which would be nice. But let me get the adapter. We'll hook this up one more time and see if it works. If it does, I'm going to dump it right on here where I want it, and then we're good. So we'll see if this drive works one more time. Okay, got the drive right here, hooked up to my little Fakakter adapter. USB ports. Wipe! Oh, I'm connected to the network. That's handy. It's got to find hardware. That's to be expected. Oh, I'm hearing drive reading. See, look at that. Just perfectly fine. Now, it's still got stuff it's finding. We'll make believe it's done. Go here, we'll go here. Uh, we'll go here and in here. And I got data. This drive, old drive, clunks around a lot more. You can hear the read write, um, the seeking, I should say, a lot louder. This drive that I put in, the 60 gig, very quiet, and I really have to listen hard for it to... for me to hear it. 
and go another file at the same time. You can hear it clunkety round. This I think is already there, but we'll copy it anyway. And I'm just going to keep copying all this shit over and we'll come back. Who says you can't multitask on an old machine like this? We got data transfers happening. It's going to be downloading the Vibio. You can see YouTube in the background. That's all you get is just two across because 1024 by 768. But it works. Barely, just barely. Even with 512 mega RAM. When that file finishes, I have saved all of my data. There we go. We're just waiting for this video to download, which is sitting there doing nothing. That happens sometimes with this program, but otherwise everything is working. I can't believe it. It's all done. Never, ever, ever let the machine get the better of you. There is always a way. A good technician can find that way. And this is the kind of stuff that I would have to do at Tiny Middle. I would have to work around and weave my way through all different meandering paths just to get stuff done. And, of course, this now doesn't want to work. I don't know why. Minimize that. I can close that. This just doesn't want to work. Can't close it, so we got to control all delete out of it and try ending it, and then that's not going to work. <laughs> Maybe now? No, I'll get it done. There, it did it. Can we try it again? Yeah, don't worry about. It. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, we got to run it. I told you. Go ahead. It's all right. There. Now, if the URL in the clipboard hasn't changed, it should work if the file is ready for download. Sometimes it's not. But anyway, there you go. A good tech will find a way to get the job done. It may take longer than originally planned. There he goes. It's downloading now. It may take a lot longer than originally planned, and there's going to be a lot of snafus along the way, but there it is. Finally all done. New drive is in. The old drive. It sounds perfectly fine. And it's going to until it runs for some time. And then it'll get vibrating and have trouble reading and all kinds of shit like that. We'll refresh that. We're going to copy that into that folder just to work out the drive a little. Okay, it must be a small file because it just did it. Yeah, 39 meg. And if we try to copy it again, it says it's already there. There he goes. We'll delete it. Empty it. That's all done. I'll disconnect that drive because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to put an X on it and I know everything here is good so what I do when I'm done with this thing is I go and hibernate it which you don't see so you shift click and let go of shift right away because if you keep holding shift then it's going to be locked on when it boots up next time. Little tricks of the trade you learn over the years. So as Windows hibernates this machine is now back in service, even though it took another day. But there you go, back up and running. Case closed. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.